Despite their small size, Shih Tzus come with a big attitude. They were bred for hundreds of years, not only for their regal appearance and endearing personalities, but also for their exceptional companionship. Don't want to play fetch? Not a problem. A Shih Tzu idea of fun is to unwind on the couch together. Then again, these dogs know nothing about herding cows, hunting birds, or pulling sleds. They were just simply bred to adore their families. And our modern-day Shih Tzus are making their ancestors proud because they are doing just that. As a matter of fact, for the year 2020, the American Kennel Club ranked the Shih Tzu as the 20th most popular dog breed out of 195 breeds. But let's get to know the Shih Tzu breed on a deeper level. However, before we get into the furry details, hello and welcome to Animal Digest. If you haven't already, please subscribe to get your weekly dose of pet content. Now let's begin. Here are 15 important facts both new and prospective owners should know about Shih Tzus in order to have the most fulfilling life with their new pet. Number 1. Shih Tzus are not as chatty as other toy breeds. Most smaller dogs are more likely to be yappy and bark at anyone and everyone in sight. However, Shih Tzus are not like that. For the most part, they are quiet dogs that usually only bark when they need attention or when they are getting attention and to alert you if something is wrong. Needless to say, a Shih Tzu is an ideal toy breed if you reside in an apartment or complex that has noise restriction policies. Number 2. Shih Tzus have desirable personalities. While each dog's personality varies, most Shih Tzus mature into sweet, devoted companion dogs. But then again, they were bred to be just that, companion dogs. And as such, they love their human family and are as loyal as loyal can be. Additionally, a Shih Tzu is intelligent, friendly, trusting, and does not demand much, except for your love and affection, making the breed everything you would desire in a companion dog. Plus, their outgoing and sociable personalities allow them to quickly form bonds with other pets and children in the home. Number 3. They are renowned lap dogs. Shih Tzus originated in Tibet, China, and were bred specifically to be companion dogs for Chinese emperors. But we know Shih Tzus have evolved, and now, you don't have to be an emperor or an aristocrat to own one. All you need is a lap. Needless to say, the ideal person for this breed is someone looking for a true cuddly, affectionate lap dog that will curl up by their side. So, if you are an extremely active person who requires an active pet, a Shih Tzu is not the best choice. Number 4. Shih Tzus make good watchdogs. Yes, Shih Tzus are attentive and vigilant dogs who will alert you if a stranger approaches your home, making them great watchdogs. However, due to their friendly nature, they do not make good guard dogs. While they will bark to alarm you when a stranger approaches, they will most likely regard that stranger as a possible playmate instead of a threat. So if you are looking for a guard dog, get a Doberman or a German Shepherd instead. Number 5. Shih Tzus are very stubborn. Though adorable and affectionate, Shih Tzus have a highly independent nature and therefore have a tendency to be stubborn. Plus, Shih Tzus can be manipulative as they have their own ways of melting our hearts with their cute faces, and as such, they are often not held responsible for misbehaving. If this is the case, those misbehaviors will lead to a dog that exhibits poor socialization skills, including stubbornness. So, despite their cute faces, start obedience training as soon as your pup is home, in order to help him learn and abide by the rules he is expected to follow. Number 6. Shih Tzus are notoriously difficult to housebreak. Although their stubbornness may play a role, housebreaking a Shih Tzu can be challenging. Moreover, because these dogs have a tendency to ignore commands, it is critical for owners to establish their role as the pack leader as soon as their pup is home. When it comes to housebreaking challenges, the key is to be consistent with training. Also, praise and reward your Shih Tzu with treats and lots of affection whenever he uses the correct spot. Punishing your Shih Tzu for housebreaking mishaps is not a good idea. As your Shih Tzu will do his best to ignore the training, as soon as he begins to feel it is no longer fun. Number 7. Shih Tzus are both stunning and athletic. 
We generally view Shih Tzu show dogs as being more stylish, as opposed to sporty, because of their long, flowing coats. However, beneath that gorgeous coat is a muscular body capable of performing exceptionally well in agility. As a matter of fact, a number of Shih Tzus have claimed victory in agility competitions. For example, in 2014, a Shih Tzu, for the first time, won both an agility title and a championship title. Quick question, have you discovered anything new about Shih Tzu so far? If so, let us know in the comment section below. Now let's continue as number 15 is very interesting and we need to get there. Number 8. Shih Tzus are known by other names in some parts of the world. The name Shih Tzu is the Chinese language word for lion because it is said that the breed was created to resemble a lion. In Mandarin, a Shih Tzu is also known as a Shih Shih dog. Shih Shih was considered one of ancient China's most beautiful women. Furthermore, in England, Shih Tzus were nicknamed chrysanthemum faced dogs because their facial hair grows in all directions like a chrysanthemum flower. And Shih Tzu owners who keep their dog's hair short know very well how quickly a Shih Tzu's hair grows from their nose to in front of their eyes. Number 9. Shih Tzu have beautiful coats. Shih Tzus have a long, silky, flowing double coat that can reach the floor if not trimmed. And their coats come in a variety of colors, including solid colors and multicolors. Some of their solid colors include black, white, gold, and gray, and some of their multicolor patterns include gold and white, red and white, gold or brindle with a black mask, and black and white. They also come in rare colors like liver, which is sometimes called lavender, and blue. Based on your taste, you can keep their coats long or short. Furthermore, despite their long hair, Shih Tzus do not shed much, and most allergy sufferers have no reactions to them. However, keep in mind that no dog is considered completely hypoallergenic. Number 10. Shih Tzu's grooming is high maintenance. Shih Tzu's double coats need brushing. As per the American Kennel Club, long-haired Shih Tzus will require brushing on a daily basis to avoid matting. And short-haired Shih Tzus require frequent brushing to control hair fall. Additionally, Shih Tzus have fast-growing hair, so frequent trimming is inevitable. They also need regular baths, nail trimming and ear cleaning. Yes, their upkeep is high maintenance, something to consider. Also, keep in mind that DIY grooming is a more economical option that your pet would prefer. However, if you can't keep up with their care or if it's too time-consuming, you may want to consider having it done by a groomer. Number 11. Shih Tzus are susceptible to heat exhaustion. Because of Shih Tzu's short nose and coat, they do not do well in humidity. And they are likely to experience heat exhaustion if they are overexposed to hot and humid temperatures. If you reside in a hot climate, air conditioning will be necessary to keep your Shih Tzu cool. Plus, when out for walks, it's important that your Shih Tzu has access to drinking water and cool-off periods. Number 12. Shih Tzus don't require a lot of exercise. Shih Tzus were bred to be companion pets. As a result, they require little exercise, making them excellent pets for inactive individuals. They're also a good choice if you're thinking about getting a pet for a grandparent or an elderly parent. Aside from one daily walk or playing in the yard, your Shih Tzu will have little interest in engaging in other activities. This is not to say they don't enjoy a good game of fetch every now and then, but they simply do not typically need much more than that. Number 13. Shih Tzus are a brachycephalic breed, which means they have flatter faces and shorter snouts than most dogs. The flatter face is linked to breathing problems such as snorting, overheating, snoring, and dental problems such as crooked teeth, tooth loss, and gum disease. Which takes us to number 14. Shih Tzus require regular health checks. In addition to being prone to health issues associated with being a brachycephalic breed, Shih Tzus are also prone to ear and eye issues. Therefore, it is important to keep the hair above the eyes tied up to avoid eye irritations, and pluck and clean their ears on a regular basis. Additionally, breathing problems can be detrimental to a Shih Tzu, so it is very important that their annual or semi-annual visits to the vet are not missed. Number 15. Shih Tzus were once on the verge of extinction. 
Yes, the Shih Tzu breed nearly vanished during China's communist revolution. This was mainly due to the fact that Dowager Empress Tzu Shi, who oversaw a world-renowned breeding program of Shih Tzus, Pugs, and Pekingese, passed away. After her death, the breeding program collapsed, making it nearly impossible to obtain a Shih Tzu. And because Shih Tzu numbers shrunk almost to nil during the early 20th century, a vigorous breeding program that included seven female and seven male dogs was used to rebuild the breed. So, every Shih Tzu with us today can be traced back to one of these 14 dogs. Bottom line, these chrysanthemum-faced dogs are among the cutest, most loving lap dogs you could ever want. Yes, they might be stubborn, but with appropriate reward-based training and positive reinforcement, they can be receptive. Myself and many Shih Tzu owners think these adorable doggies are simply the best. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.